In this problem, we're asked to give the formula for a number of compounds. Uh, so we're just going to start at the top and work our way forward. The first one is ammonium hydrogen phosphate. So we're going to start by writing each of the ions here. So we have ammonium, and we have hydrogen phosphate, HPO4. Now, we have to consider the uh, charge on each of these ions uh, by default. So uh, the phosphate ion has a three minus charge with a hydrogen on it that makes it a two minus charge. The ammonium ion has a, two, a single plus charge. So we're actually gonna need two ammoniums to counteract the charge on the hydrogen phosphate ion. Next one is mercury one sulfide. So we have mercury and sulfur. And sulfur has a two minus charge Mercury 1 has a 1 plus charge, so we're going to need two mercuries to counter, counteract the charge. See, we have silicon dioxide, so we have silicon and oxide. Uh, dioxide means there are two. This is not an ionic compound, so that is done as is. Next one is sodium sulfite, so we have sodium and the sulfite ion. Now, the sulfite ion has a charge of uh, three minus, or sorry, two minus. So we are going to need uh, two so sodiums to offset it because sodium has a one plus charge. Um, in letter E, we're asked about aluminum hydrogen sulfate. So aluminum hydrogen sulfate. Sulfate normally has a three minus charge or a two minus charge. Uh, hydrogen sulfate has a single minus charge. Aluminum has a plus three charge. So with only a one minus charge versus a plus three, we're going to need three hydrogen sulfate ions. Next is nitrogen trichloride. So we have nitrogen and chlorine. Trichloride means there are three. That is done as is a non-ionic compound. We have hydrobromic acid. This one's pretty simple. It's just HBr. Bromous acid is an acid made from the bromate ion. So it will be HBrO3 because of the bromate ion. Perbromic acid, again, made out of the perbromate ion. So, so BrO4. And this is a single charged uh, ion. So it'll be HBrO4. Potassium hydrogen sulfide, who have KHS. This had a two minus charge, which now has a one minus because of the hydrogen. Potassium has a one plus, so that is done as is. Calcium iodide, we have calcium and iodine. Iodine has a one minus charge. Calcium has a two plus charge, so we're going to need two iodines to offset the two plus charge of calcium. And then finally, we have cesium perchlorate. The perchlorate ion is ClO minus. So the cesium ion has a charge of one, and the chloride ion has a charge of one. So this is done as is.